Hey there, Tom and Clan. Today we are on deck 14. We're going to show you everything there is to see here today. We are standing right here in the aft elevator banks. And so we're going to go here and show you the Ocean View Cafe or the buffet. And they call there is the Ocean View Cafe. When you come in, there's a men's room right here. There's always lots of public restrooms. Here's your hand washing station. No washy washy, no yummy yummy. <laughs> you have night. There's your ice cream area. They call it scoops. And what I want you to pay attention to is look at how high the ceilings are in here. There's so much space. Huh? There's so much space in here. It's amazing. Lisa was telling me I missed the bar. So if you need your morning uh, coffee or espresso, il secondo bacio. This is the second bacio. That's why it's called secondo. The second bar. But as I was saying, oh, here's your desserts. Uh, the the space, the volume of height in here, it just, it, it gives this area so much airiness, okay? Um, as you can see, everything's roped off. They're in the middle of changing over from breakfast to lunch. But you've got all kinds of stations here uh, for your beverages. Here's one of the beverage stations. There's several of them here. We will continually get different looks of the buffet at different times of the day at different days because the buffet up here is absolutely amazing so many different offerings much more than i've seen on uh, the other cruise lines and some seating over here as well big huge mirrors very expansive space i love the excuse us sorry love the high ceilings in here uh, there's several spots in this ship where the ceilings are, are, are this height. It just, you don't feel enclosed. Maybe it's because I'm tall. I don't know. For you pizza lovers, the pizza is here, right in the very back of the ship. There is a little bit of seating outside if you want to dine al fresco. And so there's some seating out here. We're in St. Martin today. So here's some, use the St. Martin that beach over there.
At this point in time, I'm sure y'all are familiar with what the magic carpet is. It's an extension out over the side of the ship here in the Edge Clash ships. Edge, that's the name of the class, is uh, because of this thing. And it does go up and down. I know, I, I don't think I can zoom all the way in there, but there's, there's somebody in right there in the uh, sort of an infinity. They're hanging out over the edge. It's all glass. It's, it's kind of neat. There we go. But uh, this does go up and down. Um, you can't ride it. So if it moves up and down, um, they will close it off to passengers until it gets to where it needs to go. This being the dog roll, there's lots of people on board get with video. Just cleaning the windows. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go into the solarium. This is adults only. It is completely enclosed. What's nice, a lot of the solariums you go into are kind of warm. If you've ever been on a ship before, um, this one is not that hot. It's very, very comfortable in here. Um, Lisa and I stay out of the solarium a lot of time because it's so humid and warm in there. Um, this one is not. I'm going to be very, very comfortable. Lots of loungers. Nice statue. All right. There are more public restrooms in here. It's pretty, right? Really elegant looking. All right. So let's keep on staying to the right. Give you an update of where we are. We're right here. Okay. Now, if you remember, we've already covered the spa. So we don't have to go in there. Um, we will go over here. So this is part of the spa on this side. The, the spa is the entire back of the ship. The main area to enter is over there. Um, but uh, that is it. We've already shown you the spa, so let's turn around and we'll go back through the solarium and go down the other side of the ship so you can see it from the other side. I just, again, this also looks really neat at night. Lisa was telling me there is a juice bar which I missed for you guys. So let me backtrack a little bit. It's the spa cafe and juice bar. There's not a lot going on right now. It's also a drink station, so you can get your water and, and juices and things here. But they have little lunch offerings, right? 
tuna salad, tomato mozzarella caprese, spinach salad, more of a lighter fare, sweet potato bisque. Um, they've got a couple of blenders here, so I'm assuming they can make you smoothies and drinks and stuff like that as well. That's why I have Lisa. She's my continuity advisor. <laughs> I'm always so focused at looking forward so I don't trip over anything or, you know, we try to keep camera focused a certain way. But sometimes I might miss something. Yeah, I, I mentioned that before. Yeah. yeah. They did put some towels in the cabin today for getting off the ship. They're a different color than these ones here. So again, we'll go up on this side of the pool deck. Yeah. And so you can get a little load. There are lots of umbrellas, as you can see. So it, depending on which way the sun is shining, you get some shade. A lot of pool decks on ships don't have umbrellas, but these have plenty. Um, you could use it as a lap pool. And you see from the people standing in there, it's not incredibly deep. Lisa once had an uh, emergency uh, dental appointment here on St. Uh, I almost said St. Thomas, St. Martin. We're in the middle of a cruise and she bit down on something and her tooth cracked in half. And so we got off the ship, found a dentist, and they whipped her up a new tooth in no time. <laughs> and so there you have it, y'all. We, we have now actually gone 360. We are back in the buffet area. Make sure we keep this straight for continuity. Here's the elevator banks that we started at right here. So there you go. Your deck 14. So until we see you again, we're on the next deck. Have a great day.